In today's video, I'll show you three different ways that you can upload your product feed to Google Merchant Center to get your Google Shopping ads started quickly and easily. Hi, I'm Daryl from BigFlare.com. I run a team of PPC geeks that run Google Shopping campaigns day in, day out. You probably know that to get Google Shopping ads running, you need a product feed. But which of the many options should you choose? Today, I'll show you the three main options in an easy to understand way and I'll rank the options from worst to best. If you hang around till later in the video, I will also show you the exact tool that I use for this. I've used literally dozens of different tools to assist with all three types of product feed upload I'll discuss today. There is one tool though that I have now used exclusively for five years. It's that good. Later, I'll tell you which tool it is and how you can access it too. So hang around for that. Okay, so let's dive into my list and let's start with the method that is ranked number three, worst on the list. Number three on my list is free apps. Now I'm guessing that most of you watching this video are using Shopify for your e-commerce store. And right there on the Shopify app store, there are tons of options if you want to quickly install into Shopify a free app that automatically generates a product feed for you. Using an app to generate your product feed is a great option to use if you have lots and lots of products. For example, if you have 200 SKUs, there is no way you are going to want to manually create and update a feed for that much product data. So free apps have a pro over manually creating your feed, which is that they are extremely quick to set up for sellers with dozens or hundreds of SKUs. But there's a major downside to free apps, which is why I put them bottom of my list. The downside is that because they are free, they often come with limited features. And some of the features they miss out are actually pretty important. The main missing feature I often don't see in free product feed creation apps is the ability to easily customize the product title and image to be something different to what you have on your store. This is such a crucial feature. The rules for what works in a product title for Google Shopping versus what works on your store are totally different. You need different titles. If a free app for product feed creation does not allow you to customize the product titles, that's a huge no-no from me. Another thing that free apps sometimes miss out on is FTP connection to Google Merchant Center. A lot of free apps will only give you the option to create a URL for your feed and then connect to Google Merchant Center by uploading that URL. They often won't give you the option to connect via FTP. Uploading the feed by URL is not a terrible idea. It works just fine for most purposes, but the main advantage of FTP is that it allows you to break the once per day feed upload limit. Uploading your feed by URL, like most free apps, allows you to upload your feed a maximum of one time per day. Using FTP though, allows you to upload more than once a day. And this can be really useful if, for example, your product stock information is changing regularly and you want to keep the campaign as up to date as possible on whether something is in stock or out of stock. Now, if you want to go ahead and use a free app, despite my warnings here, and if you are on Shopify, then simply go to the Shopify app store and search for one. One app that does a decent job is Feed for Google Shopping by Symprosis Info Media. A word of warning here, I recommend you avoid using the type of free app that also creates the Google Shopping campaigns for you. When I refer to free apps here, I'm referring to the type of app that is simply going to create the product feed for you. You will then need to create your Google Ads account and your Google Merchant Center account and then link them all together and launch your own campaigns. But there are some free apps that will create the Google Ads campaigns and manage them for you as well. I recommend you avoid those tools. These tools will give you much less control over your campaign and will sometimes even charge a hidden premium on each ad click you get. An example of a free app like this to avoid is Google Channel by Shopify. Avoid apps like that. Instead, if you're going to use a free app, then get it to make the product feed only and for your shopping ads campaign, create that yourself in the Google Ads interface. Number two on my hit list is the tried and true manual G Sheet upload. In this method, you actually manually create a spreadsheet in Google Sheets, which you then need to input data to and keep updated yourself manually. This process is pretty simple. Go into Merchant Center and create a new feed. 
When the option comes up, you want to select the Google Sheets option and then allow it to create a sheet for you based on a template. Once the feed and Google Sheet template is created, click the Google Sheet itself. You will see a bunch of columns that have already been set up and now all you need to do is update those columns with your product info. Using a manual G Sheet is really simple and straightforward. You don't need to figure out how to install and connect an app. We all know how to fill in a spreadsheet, right? So having a spreadsheet to fill in is pretty much the easiest way to set up a couple of products. Plus, like the previous method, it's totally free. But the main downside here is that it's going to take way too long to set up if you have loads of products. Imagine having to fill out all those columns for a hundred or even a thousand products. And then imagine having to manually keep that sheet up to date any time any of the information such as price or availability changes. Whoa, I'm getting sweaty palms just thinking about it. So Manual G Sheets ranks two here because it's great and easy if you only have a few products and those products don't need to be updated all the time. For everything else though, I think it's time to discuss number one on my list. And finally, number one on my hit list is the option to use a paid app. Paid apps are of course the most expensive item on my list, but you definitely get what you pay for. The most important advantage of paid apps is that they can quickly generate a feed for all your products, even if you have a thousand of them. And they will allow full customization of your product feed, including the most important items of product title and image. If you want to build a shopping ads product feed that truly maximizes profit, having customized keyword rich product titles is the 80-20 of it. So having a paid app that allows title customization is super important. Another pro here is that paid apps will generally give you the option to connect via FTP, allowing you to refresh the feed multiple times per day and keep availability and stock of items truly up. If you want to manage a large amount of product data quickly and easily and get the most profit out of shopping possible, paid apps are the way to go. Now, broadly speaking, there are two types of paid apps you can select for. A fully managed paid app for product feed generation is going to be the easiest option for you. In this option, the company that has the software that generates the feed will actually do all the work for you. Typically, you will connect your Shopify store to their app and you will give them access to your Google Merchant Center. And then that's it. They will generate the feed, connect it to Google and for any feed customizations you want to make, you simply tell them and they do it. Because this is a higher level of service than DIY apps, the price is usually, but not always, higher. Examples of fully managed apps are feedonomics.com and feedoptimize.com. Now hang around, because in just a little bit, I'm going to tell you the paid, fully managed app that I use that is actually about the same price as most DIY options. With a DIY app, you pay a monthly subscription to the app like normal. However, in this case, you don't get someone from their company building the feed for you. Instead, what you will get is access to their interface. Their app will plug into your store, and then inside their interface, you can build and customize your feed to your heart's content. This is a great option for DIYers who want maximum control and visibility, and who want to be able to see and know every little detail that's happening with their product feed. DIY apps are usually cheaper than fully managed ones, but of course, for the cheaper price, you have to do more of the work yourself. A lot of DIY apps are a bit complex to figure out, so you'll save on money, but will have to spend some time figuring out their system. Some examples of popular DIY apps in this category include DataFeed Watch and GoDataFeed. So, which app do I and the team at BigFlare.com use? I run an e-commerce PPC agency that spends over a million dollars per month on Google Ads for clients, so of course I want the best for my clients. You can probably guess then that I use a paid app, and the app that I use comes down to it having the price of a DIY app with the service of a fully managed app. And that app is Feed Optimize. What I love about these guys is that they are priced like a DIY app, but give a fully managed service. At $60 per month for up to 1,000 SKUs, their pricing is bang on target with the likes of Data Feed Watch and Go Data Feed. However, both those latter apps 
for that price will make you have to learn their system and use their interface to build the feed yourself. With Feed Optimize, that service is included in their price. Other fully managed apps like Feedonomics charge huge amounts for the same thing. On the website for Feedonomics, if you check it out, there is no mention of their pricing. And in order to find it out, you need to book an appointment with one of their sales reps. They'll then do a custom quote for you, which is largely going to be based off of how much money they think they can get out of you. I've heard of companies being quoted $800 per month for the same service that the DIY apps and Feed Optimize will do for less than 100 bucks per month. So which option should you use? If you have lots of products and want to milk the most you can out of your shopping campaign, go with a paid app for sure. My recommendation there is Feed Optimize, although there's also Data Feed Watch and Go Data Feed if you don't mind learning how to use their tool yourself. If you have only a couple of products and they aren't going to get updated all that often, a G Sheet is absolutely fine and is going to be simpler and cheaper. Finally, I don't normally recommend using a free app and definitely not one of the ones that tries to run your shopping ads campaign for you. However, if even $60 is too much for you to spend on a product feed app, and you have too many products for a G-Sheet, you could try out one of the free apps. Mind you, if you don't have 60 bucks for a paid app, then I would question why are you getting into shopping ads in the first place? But nonetheless, perhaps for people looking to just test the waters, the free apps are an option that exists too. So what of the three options are you going to use? Paid app, free app, or Google Sheet? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like the content I'm putting out, please like, subscribe, and comment. I'm pretty new to YouTube, and I'm still trying to figure it all out. And if you like my stuff, I could really do with your help. So please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. Every little bit helps. There is, there, there, there is, when I, like, subscribe, and comment, and do other stuff. That, a lot of DIY, DIY. And there is one tool, though, the, 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 mm. finito.